Round five, Division One action from Eltham Central Park, and we are underway from the middle. It's Williamson doing the ruck work early on, and he gets the clearance for Eltham. Instead, said they decide to go short and sideways. Anton Woods has it. Ambles backwards to a teammate, Mukowski, and now he goes long inside forward 50. Looking at the back there, taking the mark. At ground level, Lewis Glasgow kicks towards goal, and there's the opener. Handball off to Reed in the back pocket here for Eltham. Kick to the advantage of Caulfield. It's going to bounce unkindly for him, but he did well uh, after it sat up for him to just tap it to a teammate. Now a little handball chain. Billy Glasgow back to Caulfield, then a long one into half forward, and Chris Aratus has got it. He's got it. This is his first clean chance to goal. A set shot from about 40 metres out, 45 degree angle. James Crisaratus, here he is, has been a star at the start of the 2015 season. Oh, and he's thumped it way back there that time. He's hammered it home. That is a goal for James Crisaratus, his first of the day, and what a start for Eltham. So the Panthers are off to a fly here. Early stages here in this first quarter. And it is Williamson who gets a bit of a deft tap down, but only as far as Sayers. And a handball out into space for Paddy Martin. He goes long towards the goals. Is it going to get there? No, it's going to sit up for Shane Doherty. He brought it to ground for Brandt. Now Brandt's got to work really hard here to get it back to his teammate Doherty. Had to apply some pressure. Doherty ground level couldn't quite. Now coming out of defence. Here they go. Eltham. High ball up towards the halfback flank. Yalwood made a contest. Now O'Brien gave to Johnny Andrews. Going to run the 35 and go bang. That'll get the distance. And they'll have the accuracy. Two. Goal to Johnny Andrew. McLeod have come back here after conceding the first two. Eight minutes gone here in the first quarter. It is two goals, one thirteen. McLeod just scored their first goal. Glasgow. And now Glasgow, centre clearance from the middle. Goes up towards oh. the forward line. Chris Arras went for the fly. And the umpire said he did bring it down. So balanced in the air, isn't he, when he flies for his grabs. He seems to just be so strong in the core. He's able to hold his body position, even if he's getting knocked off by his direct opponent. He's able to hold his hands up there and reel in the grabs more often than not. One goal today. He's been the leading goal scorer for Eltham over the past two years. And very certainly uh, the leading goal scorer as well this season. That kick was just offline. Bent back and it's through. He scored that one. It started right, but it bent back at the last moment. Uh, some plenty of big games in action today. Montmorency's two goals straight, 12. So too West Preston Lakeside in Northcote Park, 1-5-11. Lowell, plenty yet to score. Altham's going to go forward again here. They can't get a pass mark. half back, McLeod. That was a brilliant mark overhead from Darcy Valance, who goes right back inside forward 50 to the goal line. Chris Aratus! <laughs> James Chris Aratus, another mark inside 50. For his third goal of the day, and it's only the first quarter. Right foot kick on the way, Bang. starts Ooh, yes. right, bends back. Gun barrel, straight. That's beautiful. Lacking a bit of cohesion early in this game, McLeod. Thrown in in the forward pocket. Sayers didn't even jump for that right contest. We'll have a look if he's all right. He's still propping around a little bit, but Eltham on the end of it. Oh, great scoop he's there Rogers. from Rogers, and now he's look away from go. the middle of the ground. The wheels on Rogers go round and round, but he can't get the handball away. Support, Glasgow though. comes through. They go inside forward 50 again. It's a a shot at goal. A flying shot at goal, and it is through. Josh Merkel, that one wasn't. And every time they've tried to exit their backs, the Eltham pressure's just been intense in their forward half. And now Bailey Taglieri, who got it from Zito, goes long to Chris Aratus. He flew over the top, but Glasgow was the man who flew out the back. And he's able to take the mark, fourth man in the queue. Billy Glasgow, great grab. The focus was on Chris Aratus, as Mario Bandera said. If you put too much focus on the one man, someone else will get you. About that one, which is a bit disappointing from their, uh, their viewpoint. Ooh, it's a little dodgy off the boot, but it's enough from Billy Glasgow. He's got his first goal of the day, and Eltham have got their sixth. They lead by 33 points late in this first quarter. Here he goes. DePaolo's there. Couldn't take a mark against his opposite number 15 in O'Brien. O'Brien does really well together. Hugs the boundary line with the kick and now goes up forward to half forward. This is Kidd running inside oh. forward 50, taken to ground by Anton Woods and a free kick for the Panthers. There's been some magnificent tackles here in the opening of the second quarter. Oh, but that's a horrible turnover from Woods. Straight to bottom where he played on and got wrapped up as well. The tackling pressure is intense at the moment from both sides. And here's Chase Caulfield going long in the Chris Aratus direction, That's he's held right. on and it's going to be advantage and he's going to run he'll take a bounce and he'll have it home Eltham have got 7 goals and they lead by 39 points the ball now comes back into play. Daniel Caulfield long in the direction of Glasgow and Williamson. Glasgow taken out of it. Williamson brought it down. Now off hands. It is Kidd who swings it round to Doherty. Shane Doherty's got another mark. He's getting involved now. Just needs to convert some of these opportunities and maybe McLeod can get back into the contest. Slowly getting himself into the game, Shane Doherty. And he's going to line up for a shot at goal here. A kick from about 50. It starts right. It Fair comes roots. back straight. Oh, it's a brilliant kick from Shane Doherty. It's a goal. 
can't have their second. Well, didn't they need that one? And Shane Doherty took it upon himself. He took the responsibility after taking the mark. It wasn't since the uh, seven-minute mark of the first quarter that the crowd had kicked their last goal, so it's taken about 40 minutes of football. Williamson down to Cox. He can't pick it up. He was brushed off it by Hobbs. Going in again, he says, at ground level, only as far as Caulfield. And he tumbles one up towards half forward. O'Brien will be the first one to get hands to it. But it's Richardson bursting away. Gave it to Woods. Woods on the right foot. Eltham goal. They've got eight. The ball at half forward, 35 to 40 metres out here from the Eltham goal. Tapped off. It's Brad Tagliari. He picks it up. Snaps around the corner and kicks another goal. Well, it's consecutive goals in the space of one minute. And Eltham. Well, they extend further in front. It's a game-high lead now. 45 points to different. Deep inside forward 50 for the Panthers. Restart from the middle. The two number 18s doing the ruck battle. Williamson had the tap, but it goes down to McLeod. Hooking left foot kick around the body inside the forward line. Just comes out the way of Martin. Paddles it to a teammate. A hooking kick around the body. Going towards goal. In the goal square. White can't take the mark. Front and centre. Reed Brandt lines up and kicks another goal. Being so intense in this second term. Thrown up again, right on the 50 metre, uh, 50 metre line here for McLeod. Well, not really coming out there. No clean possession. Now Schubert emerges with it. Handball's over the top, looking for White. White just overruns it, paddles it to a teammate. Hobbs. Looking for Hobbs. Hobbs gets it on the right boot, kicking towards goal. Brant now kicks towards goal and kicks his second. Well, it was persistence in the end, wasn't it? A great mark and certainly uh, stopped a, a forward 54 right there for, for the Arthur Football Club. It's going to be Evans, gave it to Wood, gave it to De Paolo. His kick is a bit of a ruckman's kick straight into the arms of Bianchin. And he gave it over to O'Brien, who's been just about their best player. He gives it to just about their other best player for McLeod. O'Brien and White, they've been fighting hard, and now White gets a shot. And the halftime break keep them within a real realistic chance as Scooter White comes in, puts his left foot through it, he likes it, he gives it the fist pump and that's because he's put it through So McLeod etching closer here, they were really slow out of the blocks but their last 10 minutes has been really good they've kicked the last 3 goals of this encounter 5-3-33, they've kicked 4 goals in this quarter, McLeod, done very well ball thrown up again still locked just in front of uh, McLeod's Goal about 20 metres out directly in front. We'll have another stoppage. Plenty of players around this one. Eltham don't want to concede again, but they might here. And they do for Matty Yarwood. Crucial goal to Yarwood with just a minute and 20 seconds left in the first half. Right on the, the knock of half time. Could they possibly get another one? They've got the momentum here at the moment. Didn't get one down by any Ruckman on that occasion, but the last goal kicker, Yarwood, they're sweeping around the back of the contest, and he kicks it long to half forward. They don't know how long there is to go. There's under a minute, but if they are going to get a goal, they're going to have to move it quickly. Doherty to Bottomley. Bottomley inside a Scooter White, who dropped what he should have taken. Would have been a chance. Now John Andrew he swings after uh, that piece of play. Now Reed Brandt's going to get a goal. The swing kick from John Andrew just bounced up and favoured Reed Brandt nicely and didn't favour his direct opponent there on the goal line. And he's got his third, Reed Brandt, and suddenly it's back to 15 points. Really difficult kick from in deep in the pocket. So thrown in inside forward 50. McLeod's forward line have had a lot of possession inside the forward 50 in both the second quarter and the start of this third one. Martin at ground level wins it back on hands and knees. Tries to get it off to Painter. It's very congested inside the forward pocket. Painter got hands to it. So did Gilbert for Eltham. Just trying to clear it here, Elfin, but McLeod applying a lot of pressure. Martin. Now they're free in the pocket. A snapshot, a goal from deep in the pocket. It's a goal. Paddy Martin. A brilliant goal from deep in the gutter. Paddy Martin just swings it. Led by as much as 45 in the second turn, but McLeod have brought it all the way back. Elfin go deep inside the forward 50 with a kick from Tagliari oh. and a mark from James Crusaratis in the goal square. James Crusaratis directly in front. For goal number five on the right boot. As straight as you like. And a much needed one. The opposition's full forward. Handball's back to Bianchin, and Bianchin now clears defensive 50. Big fly at the back from Rogers. Couldn't take it in, though. They'll get it back, though, Eltham. A handball inside was cut off by the McLeod player. Rogers picks up. Handball's out wide. Finds a teammate there in Caulfield, who steps back. Pops one up high into the pocket. The whistle's gone. Downfield. Going to be downfield free. Which way is it going? It's going to go Eltham's way in the pocket. Yeah, Caulfield got dumped after he kicked it. And guess who? James Crisaratis will line up. In dangerous hands. Here he is, Crisaratis. The mercurial Crisaratis. He's already got five today. Five goals, three this afternoon. We've seen him kick from directly in front. Can he do it from hard up against the boundary line? He kicked a bag of eight, a bag of six, another bag of six throughout the year as well. And now he's going for six again. It's a fair effort. Chris Aratus will kick from the right forward pocket, hard up against the boundary line, just pokes at that one, but pokes very straight. That is magical. Number six for James Chris Aratus. 
from the tightest of angles. They've really made a challenge in the second term. Altham's responded, can the Kangas find another another fight back? Long down to Andrew. Andrew got it to half forward. Brant running onto it. Wachowski's going to be there for Altham to clean up, though. Can't take it cleanly. Martin got a hand in there. Back to Brant. Brant at ground level. Back to Martin. Sidesteps one. Handball to Hobbs. He has to get around the direct opponent, Cox. And now left foot snap towards the goal square is good. And they get the instant reply. McLeod, Lucas Hobbs getting involved. You know, and the Panthers have led from the first bounce. They kicked the opening goal, have never been headed. McLeod did get within eight points in this quarter, margin back out to 13. And down off hand, take there. He tried to have a, have a snap out of fresh air, couldn't quite. But there's a free kick that's been pulled out of this stoppage. It's going to be against Scooter White. He's not happy about it. And now a chance from a pretty tight angle, but he looks like he's going to be going the drop punt. He does now. Has he squeezed it he through? Has. He's done it very nicely. Surely not from there, but he has. Still a tight ball game after those couple of misses. Wonder Wachowski, one of Chris Aratus in the last few moments. And a little bit of a let-off for McLeod as Brad Leggett takes a good relieving mark at halfback. Gave it to Paddy Martin who goes with a tumbler on the left foot in the direction of Reed Brent getting there first and wrapped up straight away as Bottomley is Tommy Rogers going in hard after he laid the tackle. Handball out to the teammate. Now if they can take it cleanly there away. Everett can't quite pick it up first time. He has to go in again. Now Shane Doherty. Handball out. Bottomley smothered. Still comes back to Anthony Doherty. Here, here's a tough one on one. It is Caulfield up against Paddy Martin. Either could win it. Holding free kick is going to go in the way of Eltham, who play on straight away through Caulfield. Handball to Woods. Woods almost wrapped up under severe pressure here, but they're going to get out of it. Beautiful handball chain. Here's Williamson. Gave the don't argue to his direct opponent, Driscoll, and then went with a tumble up to half four. He's going to have to work hard again to get involved, but he does. Great work from the big fella, and he gets his man further afield in Zito involved. Here goes the Tommy Rogers. Runs to the 50. Oh. Left foot is swinging out wide. Almost. The roof would have come off this place. I know they've done the renovation here in front of the grandstand, but that was had all the makings of one of the great team goals you've seen. But Sayers and Williamson again to contest in the ruck. And palming it down on this occasion. It was a great slap there from Sayers. Got it out to Duck Doherty. Needs to take it cleanly. Can't quite. Coffield went in hard, but it came off his hands. Now Driscoll going in. Is it out wide to Martin on his left foot. Kicks long towards long. It's going to be over his head. Trying to uh, pick it up at ground level is Scooter White. Oh! One through goal! Well, the pickup made it, didn't it? It was a yep. one-handed pickup yeah. running at pace, and he threaded it from close to the boundary line. Cuts the margin to 17 points. That's forward 50. Long has front position, but didn't get a hand to it. He under it. Scooter White directly in front. He gets his second goal of the court. The second in a row here for Scooter White. The second. And he comes now from the paint of the 50. He kicks it. it we've got a pretty good view of it. It's not going to be a goal. It's going to swing out to the left. Chance for a mark on the line. And it is a mark on the line. A chest mark in the end. No one saw Shane Doherty out the back and he was able to take the nice little soda. And now we'll have to uh, swing around on the right foot, you would imagine. Mercurial Doherty, he's put it through. McLeod are uh, right back into this one. It is game on. Five points of difference here. Live on your local station, 88.6, Plenty Valley FM. It's Eltham versus McLeod. Eltham lead by five points. McLeod coming home strong. This is Andrew from the middle. Goes to his left, to his right, and then gets on his right and goes up towards half forward. Getting it there was Martin, who plays on straight away. Handballs forward for Hobbs. Hobbs runs in on 50. Kicks from 45. Going towards goal. Was it touched on the line? It was. Oh, my goodness me. Justin White out of midair in the goal square. He's put it straight through. What a goal that was. Don't worry about Tim Cahill. <laughs> oh, what about that from Scooter White? He's got his fourth. An unbelievable left foot volley. What a goal. I'm still in disbelief. That was a great goal from Justin White. Thrown up. 45 metres out at centre-half forward here from McLeod. Just inside their forward 50. A hooking kick towards the flank Grant. underneath it. Oh, Rand takes a nice diving mark. Burned his knees on the slide but took the chest mark. And he's going to go back and line up for a shot at goal. Just got there, didn't he? And gee, wouldn't this hurt Eltham if uh, McLeod could stretch out to a seven-point lead after taking the lead for the first time of the day just moments ago. It's going to be Reed Brown. He's normally a sharpshooter. And he comes, vital kick in the context of this game. And it was never missing. Yeah, he's, he's put it through. <laughs> Three minutes gone in the, in the final term. The whistle blows from the middle. It's going to be a free kick to the Panthers. A good opportunity here to go inside the forward 50. It'll be with Rogers, defensive side of the circles. Players are swarming inside forward 50. Where will he go? He's got a few leads short. Decides to go long to about 30 metres out. Chris Aratus on the lead. Oh, he was never dropping that one. Oh. Never dropping that one. And he's going to line up 
for what would be his seventh goal of the day. He was never dropping it, but by no means was it an easy mark. He had Brad Leggett hanging off him uh, the whole way through that lead. For the stakes of this game, I mean, he has oh, to tick massive. his for Elsa, doesn't he? I mean, McLeod's made their charge. It, effectively, in terms of game time, they've kicked five goals in five minutes, three late in the third and then two early in this last quarter, but he needs to now kick one, really against the grain of play, to give his side... Well, to keep him right back in the contest, and he's kick. kick on goal oh, is yes. good. <laughs> Cruzeradas has seven. 15-11, plays 14-5, 89 apiece here at Eltham Central. One down, Woods has it now for Eltham. He goes high and long towards half forward. No one's going to get there. Merkel would have been the first, but he let it go for Louis Glasgow, who gave it to Cruzeradas. Oh. Has he done it again? Oh. <laughs> yes, he has. He's got... Eight. Eight goals! That was the left foot running towards the boundary line. How he's managed to get that ball to curl back around, I have no idea. But Cruz Aratus... Finessing has... it like a thread through a needle. Hands down, he is the best forward in the NFL right now. Andrew out the back took the mark. He launches the top. He's got Paddy Martin in miles of space. Standing across the centre half back. A poor kick, a kick to a two on money in favour of Eltham. The whistle's gone and it will go Eltham's way because Schubert gave away the free kick. Williamson takes his handball, goes off to Valance. Valance in on 50, 45 metres. Right foot kick. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> this is the best game we've seen this year. There's no doubting it. It is to and fro. I thought when McLeod got seven points in front that they might run away with it. Have an Eltham respond. Oh, almost took his player on. Cox, was, his kick was smothered. In there is Robodani again. The whistle again is gone. I think it was actually high in the end. I think that first one to come in is a player limping off of the hammy here for Eltham as well. So that looks like it might actually be. It's a Brovidani yep. to the yep. bench. Brovidani lines the boundary line as the ball goes deep inside forward 50. McLeod could score That's a here. Goal. No one's touched that from centre wing. We're waiting for the umpires to confirm here. Field umpire talking to goal umpire. What will we see? But we're not sure if it's been touched on the way through. We've got four umpires conferring. A decision's been made and it's a goal. Well, I think Garwood scores the longest goal in NFL history, I reckon. He's kicked that from centre wing. It's just escaped the pack and bounced a good 20, 25 metres and trickled through. And McLeod as well have given absolutely everything and there deserves to be no loser in a game like this. Long roost towards oh, back. Billy, a, Glasgow. Really, a brilliant mark from Glasgow. In a big pack of players, he just reached up, stretched every fibre of his being and took the mark. He went for Merkel on the near side of the ground, but a pl pack of players came in and spoiled it. McLeod with possession again. Doherty dances around one, ducks another, but can't get past Rogers. Oh, great hands. Eltham get it back through the middle. Rogers wheels on Rogers. He goes inside. Fifty. Cusaratus marks. Forty metres out. Cusaratus lines up. Right foot kick on the way. Looks straight. Nails it. It is very straight. Bruce Aratus has nine, and this game here is an absolute epic. And the boundary umpire to throw it in once more. It is in the McLeod forward half. The whistle is gone again. It's going to be another McLeod free kick. Yeah, Paddy Martin. And this time it's going to be Paddy Martin who's got a chance to put it through and take the margin back to five points. Two minutes 43 left on the clock. He goes Paddy Martin, so from 50 metres out, 45 degree angle on the left half forward flank. He's been good today. That one looks pretty straight. He's got it. And the crowd is still alive. It's a five point ball game with two and a half minutes left on the clock. Paddy Martin, a crucial late goal. So just 80 seconds left in this absolute epic here at Eltham Central. It is five points of difference in the dying stages. And McLeod still with a chance. As Bianchin gets it out of the stoppage, he tumbles one up to the wing. They need everything to go right. It's Driscoll. Oh. He feeds it to Johnny Andrew. He's on the burst. He goes to 60. He kicks long towards the goal square. Marking option is Hobbs. At ground level, Pettigrove, he got it off. Here is Caulfield. He comes away from the stoppage. He gets it out towards the wing. And a relieving mark taken by Woods. And as always happens, Cramp just happens to come into his legs as well. He's been fantastic all day, Anton Woods. 45 seconds left. If they can just hold on to the footy, they are home here, Eltham. Kick up to Merkel. It's going to dribble over his head. Good work by Cox to get the ball going for some artists. This might be enough. Got got it. For his got head. It. He's got the mark. And he'll go back now and kick for double figures. And what would surely seal off this game? He might kick off the side. There's only 20 seconds left. Well, they're home. Eltham's home regardless of what happens here. They're going to win by whether it's a goal or 11 points. 
Alfred will win. Cruciratus for goal number 10. He might well kick after the siren. This is unbelievable. James Cruciratus lines Six up. Six seconds, five, oh. four. Listen to the siren as this sails through. For number 10, James Cruciratus has been beat by Brown. They got the win against the top of the table, McLeod Kangaroos. What a magnificent performance and an outstanding game of footy it was by both these teams here today. Sensational NFL action here. And Eltham run out winners in the end. 16 goals, 14, 110 to McLeod. 16 goals, 8, 104.